Hello everyone, this is Lily's Tarot and this is going to be a general zodiac reading for my water sign. So that's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel everybody. Thank you for all your lovely comments, your messages. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can. You can just uh, use the information in the description box below. Okay, so this reading will be time stamped as well. And so we're going to start with Cancer. Okay. All right, let's see what's coming up over the next couple of weeks for Cancer. We have the answers you need are coming, and that is a full moon in Gemini. Oh, somebody owes you an explanation, Cancer. Okay. we've got take action okay so let's see a little bit of a shuffle guys we got strength we've got two of ones got five of ones okay let's see there's my deck i want to use oh, okay cancer so yeah i definitely feel like you're going for a period of time here where you're really having to be strong about something okay maybe you're having to face something head on okay or maybe you're going or you're finding out something right now they're saying, look, be brave, it's okay. Got Knight of Cups, Queen of Swords. And we got Justice. And we got this King of Cups here. So we've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. Yeah, and we've got some Leo. There's Aries here as well. Oh, I kind of feel like, you know, maybe you were trusting someone here. Um, maybe they kind of poured their heart out to you emotionally as well and maybe you really sort of believed them and you kind of maybe decided to circle your way back round to them yeah because for some of you you thought there was like a new beginning or there was a new change to this relationship and it was moving forward in the way you might like you got strength twice on top of each other but I think this is more about you guys focusing on yourself moving forward Okay, I think the justice is realizing that this situation isn't balanced, it's not fair, and it's time for you to take that action to move on, all right? They really are asking you in this Queen of Swords energy to articulate what it is you need to say to this person, be brave and face it, and move the hell on, okay? Because they are giving you something else with this Ace of Pentacles here as well. So there's a new beginning for you somewhere else. We've got this Page of Wands, and we've got this Judgment, yeah. So, oh, and we've got the Devil card too. So I definitely feel like for some of you, you might have a new kind of relationship with somebody else or you're, you're liking or talking to somebody else. And it feels like it's kind of going in a good direction. All right. Um, but I don't know, there's just this fear inside you of moving forward because, you know, you're kind of not really trusting anybody at the moment. Yeah, but we've got this Ten of Pentacles and this Ten of Cups. So yeah, there's definitely... You know, it's that ending and it's that new beginning, okay? Where something coming in seems a bit more balanced and a bit more fair, okay? More in your favor or of your highest good. I definitely see Cancer, you guys have been working hard, all right? Some of you have finished kind of training at something as well. So they're saying, okay, look, you've done everything you need to do because some of you are like perfectionists, okay? So they're saying, look, take action, move forward with it. The time is right. It's okay. You can do it. Yeah, we've got the full here, Aries, take that leap of faith, okay? Take action, believe in yourself. They're saying bet on yourself at the end of the day. There's more money here available for you too. All right, five of ones. Yeah, I just think as well for some of you, you're, you're, you, instead of sort of moving forward, which I feel like some of you have been trying to, right? 
but it's like you're still kind of taking a look back at your ex even though your guard is up you're still kind of maybe what it is is you're anticipating them coming into contact with you yeah and they are you know there is definitely this communication coming we've got capricorn taurus virgo here as well yeah, this person's definitely feeling sad and upset about something to do with you, okay? Because they definitely feel at Eight of Cups, yeah, like you're just moving on from them anyway, like you're just pretty much done. So what's coming up over the next couple of weeks for Cancer? We've got the Hierophant. Yeah, so some of you are definitely going to be getting a promotion. All right, some of you are definitely going to be moving on from a job because they're not promoting you anymore. All right, and you feel like someone else has probably gone in and got that position and it was like, no, that should have been mine. All right, so there's definitely some betrayal in the workplace for some of you as well, but it's just sort of triggering that new beginning. That's why you've got strength coming up so much, okay? Because you're needing that strength in, in quite a few areas of your life over the next few weeks, okay? Yeah, we got death. So it's like you're releasing... Some things that, you know, are attached to your heart, like work, you know, and this person here. Yeah, five of pentacles. So they're saying, look at your other opportunities. All right, because I definitely feel like there's something coming towards you. Someone's coming to bring you some good news, Cancer. Okay, so it is going to get better. Yeah, we've got the hangman here. So it's just about taking this pause. Okay, taking some rest. Because I definitely feel like you guys need some rest. All right, and it's about being re-inspired again for what it is that you do, okay? So there's going to be some new creativity coming towards you. You know, it's... I feel like you... you there's some excitement coming your way, Cancer. All right, which is what I think you guys kind of need right now. Everything sort of seems the same. You're dealing with the same heartbreak. You know, it's that kind of thing. So there's definitely going to be this nice shift and change for you. All right. But they're saying, look, just don't fight yourself too much. Don't be up in the clouds too much. All right, Cancer. Got a wealthy man, thoughts. Someone's definitely suffering with some severe type of mental brain weird health stuff, okay, going on, all right? Um, so I kind of feel like they want to explain to you something medically that is, goes on with them that makes them react in certain ways or whatever, but you're just kind of like, yeah, okay, well, well. And I definitely feel like you guys are going to be fighting for your place at work, okay, or, or, or fighting for more money and it just doesn't go your way. So it's like, okay, well, I'm going to leave with the experience, wisdom and knowledge that I have. Embark on this new journey. Yeah, we've got coffin. It's over. All right. For some of you, there's something new you're going to be starting at home, but you've got great fortune. All right, let's pull you a little message. Let's give you one of these cards. Now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. I like that. Okay, so just plug into your spirit guides, to your ancestors. Okay, they are guiding you, moving you away from what is not good for you and pushing you more to your highest good. We've got the High Priestess, powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. Yeah, so this is what's coming next for you. Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion, sudden changes. So yeah, even when this shocking change sort of happens at work or whatever it is, right? They're just saying, look, it's okay. Move quickly. Don't get too emotional over it. Keep it moving. We've got perspective. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. Okay, let's read you one of these, Cancer. And we'll move on.
we've got karmic. Oh, that's the book. Hold on, Cancer. Notice the karmic lessons in this situation. Some relationships are known as karmic relationships, where it's suggested two or more individuals come together to resolve karma. This can be in the form of karma generated in past lives or in the present life. Often, it seems, where karmic connections occur, it is important for those involved to learn the lessons of the situation in order to release themselves from constantly coming together to repeat the mistakes that first drew them close to each other. When you select this card, it is a reminder from the angelic realm that in situations where events appear to have brought you and another or you and several others together in order to forgive or to sever problematic dysfunctional ties that keep pulling you close, that when you recognize the karmic dynamic that exists, you can release yourself from the cycle and finally move forwards. That's deep. <laughs> And the truth and I think it's about you seeing this person for who they really are and the fact that they are karmic some of you are thinking maybe this was your twin this is a karmic person here okay all right so cancer I hope you enjoyed that reading don't forget to like comment share and subscribe you can also contact me for a personal reading as well take care bye okay so now we're gonna move on to Pisces all right, Pisces, let's have a look. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Check your sun, moon, rising signs. Okay, let's see. What's coming up for Pisces over the ooh, next couple of weeks? We've got your commitment is being tested. Definitely feeling Pisces. There's some loss of energy. Because um, immediately I just kind of started to feel drained. All right. I feel like you guys are losing some energy here. Could be people around you, situations dragging you down, okay? Taking you off your path. Let's take a look. Pisces. Woo! <laughs> Sorry, these, you know what, they're new-ish. Like, I never use these. So, I kind of... Just rigid, really. I'm shiny. All right, Pisces. Yeah, we got three of air, so that's three of swords. Oh, three of cups. And four of wands. Okay, so Pisces, I would definitely, you know, Oh, feel like you guys have been going through a lot lately, some type of heartbreak, some pain here, okay? Maybe feeling a bit betrayed, a little bit stabbed in the back. Let's take a look, Pisces. <clears throat> I think maybe your ability to kind of hold things down and balance things have kind of taken a hit lately, which is understandable, you know? Yeah, I, I definitely think you guys just be careful you don't kind of go into that sunken place of poor me, poor me, why me, why me kind of thing, okay? Um, and drinking too much or anything like that. Yeah, because there's definitely, there's some inner conflict going on around you, but there's definitely people arguing around you as well. Okay, this could be family or friends, or this could just be people getting involved in a situation. All right, for some of you, this is involving money. Yeah, we've got temperance. I definitely feel like you guys just need some peace and some balance here. Yeah. I think you guys kind of need to get away. Yeah, with the Queen of Cups, I feel like a lot of people are probably leaning on you at this time. Maybe they're going through a lot of chaotic situations. But we got the Wheel of Fortune here. And we got Eight of Swords. So yeah, I definitely feel like you guys are going to be sort of removed from this. As I said that, the hangman comes out. All right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah this is like pause for reflection okay why am i always in these situations why do they happen to me i think you're more going to change as a as it's not going to be so much poor me poor me but it's more like okay i keep getting myself into these things how do i keep doing it i need to free myself from that and so i feel like you're going to be going through some epiphanies that's going to kind of take away a, a little bit of that heartbreak and pain 
that you're suffering with right now. All right, let's look at the Three of Cups. Yeah, judgment here. We got nine of wands. So yeah, I feel like you guys are kind of closing yourself off from people or you're about to be. But you know what it is as well, Pisces? I'm definitely seeing 11-11 for you guys too. So it's almost like the universe is kind of saying to you, it's okay to detach from this situation. It's okay to learn your lessons, all right? It's not okay to continually beat yourself up about the choices that you've made, okay? Even if you've made them a few times <laughs> and you've had the same outcome, it's okay. We're all humans. You know, we all, especially if you have that kind um, nurturing heart and you know that you're an empath, you know, these situations are going to happen, all right? But I think what you're realizing now is how to get yourself out of them, how to not shame yourself or blame yourself in any way, all right? How to kind of make that decision to move forward. I feel like you guys are just looking out there, just checking to see if the coast is clear. Like, is it okay for me to move on? Is it okay for me to feel better about this now? Yeah, so I definitely feel like now is the time for you to kind of throw yourself into work. All right, they're saying, you know, go out and look out there for collaborations. All right, people who have already been successful at what it is that you do. Okay, maybe contacting someone to be a mentor to you of some kind. Yes, yeah, so we've got this Ace of Swords here. And we've got Empress. Yeah, so a lot of you, you're business minded, business savvy. Okay, they're saying it's just time to throw yourself into that. Okay, you wear a lot of hats and you do it well. Wow, you've got four of wands on top of four of wands. <laughs> but you've got that ten of cups as well. I definitely feel like there's something cute brewing with somebody that you know. Okay, yeah, after going through a painful situation. Also, they could have as well. Yeah, with this three of swords. You know, you're finally finding somebody who can actually work with you and build with you. They're just saying you need to be strong. All right. A lot of you, you know, music is really important to you. They're saying play music. Okay, get back into your music mode. All right. Yeah, and we've got a new beginning here for you, Pisces. Yeah, we've got this King of Wands, this Aries Leo Sag. Okay, somebody that I feel like, I think they watch you a lot. I, but I kind of feel like they know you or you've been dating them. All right, but they kind of do want to come in and offer you something more secure as opposed to we're just kind of seeing each other, all right? They're just sort of working out, is it worth putting in, you know, the time and effort? But we've got this magician energy here. So I definitely feel like this person's holding back how strong their feelings are for you. I don't think that they're necessarily being horrible to you, but they're just not, you know, they're just quite guarded within themselves. Oh, I, I dropped one. Um, but they do see you as like somebody who is in a soulmate relationship with them, okay? They feel really connected to you. Maybe what it is is that they wouldn't use the term soulmate. They're just really connected to you and they don't know why. All right, but nine of cups here, this is your wish fulfillment. Ten of wands, it's just time to let go of these burdens, which I feel like you are, you know? You're kind of getting away from a lot of people and a lot of toxic situations. So we've got Libra Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sag. I've got Cancer Pisces Scorpio here too. I definitely feel like you are turning your back on a relationship where they are with somebody else and you're kind of sort of not giving this new person, like, I feel like they kind of get the cold shoulder or the brunt end of this, all right? Let's see, Pisces. We've got imprisonment. Ooh. Despair. Maturity and privileged lady. And we got a wealthy man here. So yeah, I definitely feel like someone's trapped and stuck in another relationship elsewhere. With someone, I think this person's older than you as well. Okay. 
don't know why they're showing me that. But they also show me that you have someone else here who's wealthy, does well, has great fortune. Okay, sees you as the privileged lady and wants to make things official soon. Okay, so maybe over the next few weeks, this person's going to tell you, okay, that they want to kind of take things further. But I don't know what it is about negotiating the terms and agreements of your relationship. I'm not sure what that means. Okay, maybe there's certain things that they expect from you or they don't want you to do anymore. I don't know. <laughs> But I definitely feel like relationships are about compromise, not changing you, but compromising. All right, so Pisces. We've got there's something better, yeah? So like, it's okay, it's okay for you to move on. All right, we've got something better for you. And I kind of feel like it's the person, because maybe this you're about to meet them, okay? But I think for a lot of you, this person's already around you. And they just feel like it's a little bit cold. Wow, we've got the chariot. Determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. That's cancer energy right there. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success. Using resources wisely. Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. And love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members. Happily ever after. Ooh. And committed romantic relationships. Be swept, swept off your feet. Situations or topics that make your heart flutter. Oh. I'm excited for you guys. But I feel like you're kind of like. Mm, yeah, but I want my person. You know. But they're not good for you guys. Okay. They're just not. Okay. I'm going to read you one of these. Pisces. Your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. You are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. See, recognize and put some respect on your name. Okay, that's who you are. And then let's read you one of these. Give you a little message, Pisces. We got lessons. <laughs> Love teaches us many lessons. Our relationships teach us a lot about ourselves and about human behavior in general. We learn that the world is a mixed place full of people at various levels of emotional and spiritual development. Which level of maturity cannot always be assessed at face value, but which takes time to recognize. We learn that often it's not what a person says that which tells us most about their character, but about how they habitually behave that indicates who they really are below the surface exterior. We learn the difference between attachment and love, recognizing that attachment is clingy and childlike, whereas true love is flexible and sensible. When you select this card, it is an indication from the angelic realm that you will benefit by recognizing the lessons you've learned in your love life. Take time to consider what comes to mind and then think about how you could best apply these discoveries into your life now. I like that. All right, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Please like, comment and subscribe. Um, yeah, and you can also contact me for a personal reading as well. So take care, Pisces, and I will see you soon. Okay, so now we're going to move on to Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, hope you're well. This isn't going to resonate with everyone, so take what does and leave what doesn't. This will be over your next couple of weeks. What's coming up for Scorpio? We've got nothing yet is set in stone.
we got peaceful resolution. Okay, so maybe whatever's going on, it doesn't have to get ugly. All right, and even if it's, if it's at that stage already, okay, there's a compromise here. Scorpio. Got the hermit. King of Swords. Yeah, I definitely feel like someone's got to think before they speak. All right, and, and you know, maybe it's just as a result of where they come from or the environment they work in. Okay. It's just very direct, kind of cold, a little bit blunt. Okay, this person, I think what it is as well is they've stepped back and they're kind of watching you in the shadows and they're really annoyed, okay, that, you know, you've gotten stronger. You know, you might have even gone to the gym or, you know, whatever it is, you're just looking better, feeling better. You've definitely had a glow up. And, you know, this King of Swords is just sort of feeling left out in the cold. All right. And so, you know, but you've been taking this time to get your strength back. But now this person feels like they need to be brave when they come towards you. Even this reading is building up energy. I'm hot. I'm going to put the fan on. It's my butterfly picture. Okay. I need it so hard. All right. Sorry. As well. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of stress and tension. There's a lot of sleepless nights going on here as well. Yeah, because I think you kind of know this person was juggling you, okay, and is juggling you. All right, they're just trying to control the narrative of everything. Like, they just, they come across as very controlling and very manipulative and really just wanting to kind of be in and out of your life, all right? So you guys are definitely gonna be going into some type of separation. You guys could be in this separation point already, or you could just say, I'm done with this person, you know, cause you know, you're thinking about yourself, what's fair, what's just, and it's not being in a relationship with them. <laughs> yeah, so we've got eight of wands. Definitely feel like you guys have a lot of communication coming in from this person. Yeah, for some of you, this person even wants to make money with you or they want to start a business with you or they're trying to help you start a business. Yeah, because they're definitely feeling guilty. <laughs> and they are hoping that there is one more chance here. Got five of swords. But again, there's just more arguments over the next couple of weeks with this person. Can I reach you? Yeah. <laughs> but then I don't know. I, I don't know what it is with this person. They kind of pop up with exciting news, right? But for others of you, it's like they've got dramas with the mother of their child as well. There's just something is going. I really feel like you guys are just going to see them and this whole situation for what it is just toxic. Everything in their world and life is toxic. All right. But I do kind of feel like you guys will have this peaceful resolution if you want it. I definitely feel like this person had a few people on the go, maybe even someone you knew or knew of. Some of you could be pregnant by this person or you found out, you know that they're someone's with child for them. Some of you maybe have already gotten into this business with this person. So they're saying, look, nothing is yet set in stone. Yeah, we've got privileged lady here. You're going to come out the best in this situation, right? We've got thief and we've got sudden wealth. Thoughts. And we've got change. See, look, and it's this imprisonment here with this thief energy right they're just trapped they're locked away there's nothing they can do about it and your life is moving onwards and upwards all right yeah a lot of you could be working from home as well some of you, you started this business with this person from home but now they just have all this concern that like you're moving on you found this i don't feel like there's someone around you who's a bit more mature than this person all right and then they're not taking care of their health anyway 
All right, for some of you, they travel a lot for work as well. They're going to be on bed rest soon. For some of them, they're going to be ill. So they're not even going to be able to work or do anything. Kind of get more, bit more space, I guess, from them as well. All right, Scorpio. A great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. And we got the wheel, new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. And we've got epiphany, joy through spiritual growth, be a light to others, answers that come through meditation. You have, I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy, at peace, and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. Oh. So yeah, maybe you've been really concerned about a loved one you've lost recently or in the past. They're saying, I'm with you, okay? I'm guiding you, I'm okay. You've got, I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. Got a lot of guides here. You know, try and spend some time by the water as well, they're saying, if you can. That kind of soothes you, keeps you calm, gives you that peace and serenity, I feel like, that you really kind of craving right now. Scorpio. You have sincere, someone close to you is sincere. Oh. Sorry guys, I find it. Here we go. Reassurance of a person's intentions can alleviate feelings of uncertainty and anxiety. It is comforting to know when another person has honest intentions. It is wise to exercise reasonable caution in our dealings with others but when we are sure that someone is true, then we can allow ourselves to open up more without the need for under restraint. Uh, when you select this card, the angelic realm is indicating that someone close to you is sincere. Perhaps you need to know this in order to feel more relaxed with the situation, to put your mind at ease. That's good. Do you know someone's there for you? They are being sincere. Okay, use your intuition when it comes to these people that you have around you. You know who this person is. Maybe you're in a bit of denial. You don't want to admit it because you're scared a little bit. All right, but Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Uh, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye.